Hi everybody, welcome back to Floating with the Fish, our next episode. I am in Bombay and meeting a very, very, very unusual person that I've known for a very long time, but up and close very recently. And the more and more I hear, I want to share it with all of you because it's a very unusual journey. And as you know, Floating with the Fish is all about the kind of different fishes that some people chase, which means some of the choices that people make. I find them very unusual and I find their way of thinking to be very, very amusing, nice, surprising, in- inspiring and motivating. And that's who he is, Brahman and Singh Ji. So the journey is very long. We are trying to get in a sense of what has he learned, what has he discovered in, in this time. And so let me welcome for all of you. Thank you on Floating with the Fish. Hello and great pleasure to be here. It's my pleasure. So what, I mean, of this beautiful, very textured, very layered journey of your life, what are the things that you've been chasing in your life absolutely unapologetically? Anything. If I wanted to join a college which I have not managed to in the beginning, I have ended up doing five, six things which has gotten me that college. Okay. Mm-hmm. If there's a city that I have wanted to be in, I've ended up living in that city. Mm-hmm. If there's a, if there are projects that I have set set my heart on, I have ended up doing it, uh, putting things together, initiating it, finding funds, completing it, and having the results or impact that I have more or less visualized with it sometimes that I have not even visualized Mm -hmm. in the good sense Mm. you know so in that sense I have put my mind to it I think your mind is a very powerful weapon and uh, if if you focus on it laser sharp anything that I have not managed to do Mm. in spite of having thought about it uh, it's probably because I have not taken action or I have not so laser focused on it. Mm. But anything that has uh, excited me, charmed me, and I've decided that I will do. After that, very rarely has it been that uh, people have said something that, no, it can't be done like this or it can't be done like that or mm. this is not the way to do it. And I have let that impact me. On so the other so when, hand, when people say that, oh, this is not worth it or, yeah. you know, you're just dreaming, you know, I, I hear you, you said you don't let it impact, but uh, have do you also think that there could be value in what they're saying? Yeah, yeah. First thing that I do is I speak about it to 10 people. I don't keep it silent. Okay, sure. It gives me energy. Hmm. So when I speak to people, then I see many people say that, yeah, nice, but it does not happen like that. It's not so easy. Uh, so what I do is I have a very simple technique. I ask them, why do you say so? Mm. And I feel that most of them fall in a trap because they have not thought out. Yeah. They have just said that, well, it's not like that. Mm. So then they talk about it. Mm. I listen very carefully. And um, eight out of ten people that I listen to, I just smile and I say thank you because... I know that they are saying that they cannot do it, Mm. not that you cannot do it. So I heard them wrong. Mm. So I hear them right that Mm. they cannot do, Mm. but you can do. Mm. Okay. See, sometimes it's very difficult to translate your vision through just words. Okay. Mm. You are able to see the picture three years later, five years later in a certain way. Yeah. You have... Uh, You are made in a certain way. You are oriented towards certain things. Why would everybody be oriented in the same way? When you do it and show it and share it with people, that is the time that you can test whether it's resonating with people or not. And most chances it will resonate because now you have managed to convert your vision Mm. into something palpable. Absolutely. This podcast is sponsored by match my talent so i mean like you said people interest you but what type of people interest you people who 
can think people who are open minded people who are um who have a love for stories who have uh, who who have had uh, interesting exposure who can at any point of time uh, find 10 things wonderful in any given situation yeah. you know people who have gone through highs and lows people who know that uh, this is not the be all and end all of life that everything is not as serious as you might be taking it at that point of time as time passes so i love people with maturity i love people with sense of humor i love people who can laugh at himself herself mm. i love at people who can laugh at others or situations and make things light yeah i think it unburdens you uh, yeah. greatly mm. and uh, it prepares you to uh, face any kind of on so to say you just swim through you flow through yeah absolutely, absolutely. any kind of times that like yes. yeah. you've largely worked on like the biggest of your works of, of course jhalki is there but, but i mean more, biggest of your works is on musicians you know documenting the the legends why musicians it could have been politicians it could have been actors it could have been well i'm very open to life stories mm. what charms me and attracts me our life stories mm. and its life journeys because life journeys is full of ups downs insights learnings knowledge change of perspective acquiring of perspectives mm. and uh, spreading of joy happiness positivity whatever you call it mm. it happens to be musicians so far two of the biggest works that i have done mm. on Adi Burman or Jagjit Singh mm. uh it's just coincidental and it could be coincidental because i do have the privilege of growing with a musician father with a musician grand uncle you know and a family which is uh very well responsive to music okay. i've had the fortune of growing up listening to some of the uh great musicians of all times mm. and i have charted my own journey mm. from classical music up to the teens to western popular to western classical to coming back to film music which is where i started which where i see a lot of uh, richness mm. and an amalgamation of all these different you want to learn things forms. yes so you look very royal what's in your genes royalty is something that is a state of mind you mm. know a uh, legacy that i have seen in the larger family mm-hmm. of mine to me royalty you know attitude is an mm. attitude which prepares you to take everything and not be surprised wow okay mm. and to conduct yourself and manage yourself with grace and dignity mm. to me these these words uh, hold great importance mm. you know flooding with a fish how's it going so in the um in the film business is is a is a fragmented irregular business like all aspects of it you know all aspects literally um how have you managed to um, to not just survive but thrive yeah so i feel that uh, you don't have to overthink mm. i find that as a big demerit in anything you have i find big demerit in not thinking at all mm. I find it great when you think through enough mm. for you to be convinced mm. and be ready mm. and where readiness is all mm. for you. Mm. And then you start off. Then you start off um you do everything to put together. Put together means putting together ideas, people, uh work, funds, mm. everything. they all are like a jigsaw puzzle they all fit in one with another right there is never first this first that first that many things move together actually mm-hmm. in that one of the things happen first it helps you put together the other one mm-hmm. other one so i think 
you move like that you believe in what you do and uh, you go ahead and make it happen mm-hmm. i i wish i was a little more action oriented than i am mm-hmm. i i feel that i suffer from that a little bit mm-hmm. but when i see many others i feel that there are many others who are not even as yeah, action oriented as i am mm. but i feel that anything that i have done successfully it's because i have taken those steps to do it so what's coming up like what are the, are this are there more people that you're going to document do you have like what's your to do list so i i have this uh, idea of documenting a lot of people mm. live journeys which i enjoy doing best mm. i have a few feature stories which uh, are somewhere up there which 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 should start 2023 wow. and uh, they're all again a story with some kind of a spin to a certain backdrop or subject mm-hmm. which makes a difference to thousands of other people who have been impacted by that Mm. things that people are not very well aware of mm. so i like doing those kinds of projects and there are some more which are on the anvil nice around that so 2023 is going to see 23, like three more spinning around should see some very interesting things happening do we uh, get to see or does it spin at your studio level no no we get you'll, to see you'll get to see oh, yes beautiful so um for for the people who let's say resonate more with non fiction um side of storytelling and are very passionate about storytelling um what could be those two things in a filmmaking process that can do magic for non fiction storytelling how's the conversation i'm sure you're liking it there are several more coming up all the links are in the description follow us spotify audios youtube whatever suits you see you around